Do you reckon I can start a fire on this table? Light. We know that it can do some pretty crazy things. We know that it travels really, really fast. We know that it can bend when it goes in water. Whoa. But what actually is light? I mean, diagrams show it as a wave, but then it's also a particle. Thankfully, I've got a physicist in an elevator who's ready to enlighten me. Hey, Alessandro. Hello, Rad. So today you're going to teach me about light. I'll do what I can. Can you do it in 45 floors up and down? I'm going to try it. <laughs> All right. What is light? Okay, light is a process that allows you to transfer energy from one place to another using electromagnetic radiation or photons. So you said it's a process. That's Excuse right. Excuse me? Everything's a process. There's all, in, in physics, we just have energy transfer. So you roll a ball, you're transferring energy using mass. If you use light, you're using this massless thing called a photon or electromagnetic wave. Okay, so if I were to ask you, what is light? What would you say? Um, the part of a wave spectrum that is visible. I have the more inclusive approach to light. Light is everything that is a moving electromagnetic wave. There is nothing especially different about microwaves, radio waves, x-rays, gamma rays, or visible rays, except how long the wavelength is. So microwaves are still light? According to my definition, yes. You wouldn't d d differentiate between an ocean wave that you surf on and the waves that you generate in a bathtub just because they're different sizes. They're all waves. Okay, but it can be an electromagnetic magnetic wave or a photon. Is that different types of light? Or? Well, no, there is only one light. Okay, we're halfway through. So how can light be a particle and a wave? So the best thing we can do is really run experiments to check how to describe it. So someone comes along and says, I'm gonna hit this object with the light and I'm gonna see what happens on the other side. And you do that and you see funny ripple looking things that are very reminiscent of say, a water wave hitting an object and going onto the other side. So you say, look, I'm seeing ripples in the water, I'm seeing ripples in the light, clearly, Light is a wave. Okay. So someone else comes along and says, okay, well, I've got this other source of light that is really, really dim. So it's very, very small amounts of light. And on this side, I've got a, a photographic plate that will tell me the instant that light hits it. It will tell me with a beep. So if this was a normal laser, this is very bright and the plate will just go beep and you see this image <laughs> of your ripples all on the spot. So then this person turns that down and you hear the beep continue beeping because there's this stream of stuff coming but at some point your perfect source of light that is as low as it can go will start doing individual clicks and that will be a sign that light in a sense is an individual particle that we call a photon but it's an electromagnetic way <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, yes. But how can light be a wave and a particle? Well, it depends who you ask. People talk about wave packets as a way of saying that, well, you can describe it as a wave or you can describe it as a particle. But... No. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sorry. Reality is all we've got. <laughs> I thought this was going to be easier than it ended up being. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's as much as I can give you. <laughs> Thank you. Look, I'll admit I came into this one maybe a little bit overconfident because I feel like I understand light, or at least I understand a lot of the properties of light. But then you start talking about the fact that it can be both a wave and a particle. And we know this because you can do an experiment that shows it behaving as a wave, or you can do one that shows it behaving as a particle. And this doesn't just go for visible light. It's everything on the electromagnetic spectrum, from microwaves to radio waves to ultraviolet. And they all have these properties and do it all with no mass. But you know the thing that like really, really got me? It's when he said that light is just a transfer of energy. What a light bulb moment. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, there are plenty more like it. We've done the Big Bang, time dilation, and even blockchain. You can click here to watch them. And if you like this video, you can hit subscribe for plenty more from us. See ya.